What's going on, people? Fame and the same here from the Inner Circle. Welcome to episode 43 of the Double XP Podcast. And as you guys can see, we are a bit short-handed tonight, but the show must go on. We're going to start with the introductions. We're going to start with my right hand, one man, Miss 2B1 herself. Mama C. All right. Hey, y'all. Oh, man. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. This is Mama Sita from Classy Game of Girls. And, um, oh, wow. My draw kind of hang, hung on that one tonight. Game of Girls. But, um, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> but I'm here, y'all. I'm here. I'm ready to talk. We can get into these topics. And I appreciate everybody that's been following my YouTube, although I have been putting up a lot of videos lately. I appreciate y'all rolling with me, hanging with me. Let's roll, y'all. And next up, we got the opposite Nick, the anti Nick, the anti light bright Dallas man. What's going on, brother? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, man? Hey, you know how I know I miss with y'all? I'll tell you how, how? I know I miss with y'all. I how? didn't get y'all for Monster Hunter World right now. That's how you know oh. I miss with y'all. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. I ain't know you play that you do to actually play games like that. Okay, cool. We appreciate oh. that. We appreciate that. I mean, I mean, it's, it's not a, it's not a. Now, I'm just going to say something, but I'm not going to say it because I don't want to get death threats in my, uh, <laughs> on, on Twitter. So I'm going to go ahead and shut up. Uh -oh. But uh, let's let you guys know. If you go in the description down below, we do have a link there. We are giving away a copy of CFDs along with a limited edition controller. If you guys are watching mm -hmm. this on the Tick Network channel, thank you guys for rocking with us, watching the Not Live. You guys watch through the website or Podbean or iTunes. We appreciate you guys for rocking out with us now we're gonna start with the news that kind of rocked the gaming world uh with microsoft we all know that they have been lacking uh with the exclusives this this gen well this <laughs> past year we know that it's not a it's not a big secret and microsoft has promised to begin to invest in studios so mm -hmm. a rumor came out from polygon that microsoft was looking to buy ea valve and PUBG corp which uh which is blue hole of course, you guys know the, the, uh, the studio that made uh, PUBG. Now, um, there has to be anything to confirm this. Polygon just says it's a, it's a very reliable source to say they are trying to. Even trying doesn't mean it's actually going to, going to succeed or actually buy it. But I want to get you guys' thoughts on what kind of shakeup are we headed to if Microsoft was to buy either EA, Valve, or Bluehole. Let's, let's start with you, Ma. What you think? <clears throat> I mean, I I think that would just be, I mean, I, I think that would turn uh, everything right now with Xbox and Microsoft just upside down, completely upside down. I mean, when I heard the news, I mean, of course, my mouth was wide open at first, but y'all know I'm like one of the biggest skeptics when it comes to things like that. But still, I'm, I'm, I have to admit that my mouth dropped. I'm like, what? EA? Valve, I mean, Pub PUBG is not so far fetched, okay. But I'm like, Valve, mm -hmm. EA, that would just be absolutely crazy to do. Um, but you know, hearing it, it, it was nice to, to read about and, and see all the people in the Twitterverse talking <laughs> about it. But I, I have, I don't believe that Microsoft is actually going to go after EA, I just don't believe that. I think they do have something up their sleeve. I mean, it would seem feasible for them to go after Steam and, of course, PUBG. You know, I, I can see Steam because of where they are already headed now. And I think the vision that they have for Xbox, I just think that Steam and Valve will fit perfectly with that. I mean, don't y'all want Half-Life 3? Don't you want Left 4 Dead 3? Because I know I do. Throw in a port of 3, too? Yeah, Shoot, if, if I'm good. Was supposed to get Valve, I mean... You would that to be DOA to a Windows 10 store and everything just be Steam and it, 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 exactly. And I can, and then we're talking, of course, then we already know mouse and keyboard support is coming for the Xbox. We know that. So that cross network play, and I mean, I just think that would fit more into the vision that Microsoft has for Xbox. EA, I, I, I mean, I see all the talk, you know, resurrecting some of the old IPs and games, Dead Space, and all that. And that would be, yeah, but I. I don't see that happening. And then even if they did, let's just say they purchased EA, they are not going to take uh, FIFA and 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 um, you know NBA. Like they're not going to take those games off of PlayStation or any other. You know, it's just they're not going to do that. I think perhaps resurrect some of those old games and maybe new IP going forward, maybe Xbox exclusive. But I I, I don't see that. I see them having the same vision that they have for Minecraft. So um. 
But I mean, I, I, I just think it's nice and fun to talk about. But EA, nah, thumbs down on that one. I don't think, Stan, I don't think that's what they're going to do. You know, shout out to the chat. You know, we, first, the very first comment was, I love you, Mama Cedar. Very People come for my. I've, I've been saying that since we started this podcast. Oh. Well, since Ma started the podcast, I've been saying it for longer. People come for Mama Cedar. Like, Nick think that he's a big man on campus. I'm like, Nick, people don't come for you, G. <laughs> They don't come for you, G. They oh come for Mama God. Cedar. I'm trying to <laughs> tell <laughs> folks that. <laughs> oh, I, I appreciate that, but my girl Crook here. What's up, Crook? Oh, I appreciate that too, you guys in, in the chat. Thank you so much too. I, I appreciate the love. I really do. Shout Sorry, out to Crook, girl, man. She, she's still she at school. Her higher, oh, she's still at the place of her higher learning. That's dedication, man. Crook, girl, what's happening? I'm at school right now, though. I'm waiting on my ride to come. That's what's up, man. See, up, up at WSP, we get our higher learning on. Even though Dallas can't read. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, this, uh, as y'all can see, I got all this stuff on. It's cold outside. It's cold in here, too. Man, but we, we appreciate you coming through while, you, while you're at your place of learning. Man, right now, we're talking about these rumors of, uh, of uh, Microsoft possibly. Buy it either EA, EA Valve or um, I heard EA it just got debunked. Uh, I haven't heard any, I haven't heard Microsoft or EA come out and said no. I heard that they got debunked because if they would have uh, what's somebody was telling me, I think they had their uh investors meeting or something, and if something like that was going on, it would have popped up in that meeting. Somebody yeah. That was telling me. yeah, I know EA had that meeting, but like I yeah, said, yeah, I was gonna say EA had the meeting. I don't know. I mean, like, I heard the same thing. I think most people don't see it being possible, and and, and Ma just uh, touched on that a little bit. I don't really think EA think it's possible, but you know, I just want to get everybody's thoughts on it. But uh, Dallas, were you shaking in your boots when you heard the uh, Microsoft might be doing something like this? Oh, ain't nothing to shake for it, man. But look, oh come on. <laughs> but look though, uh, Microsoft, y'all, y'all need y'all need some juice. Y'all need some of this sauce. Y'all need some some games, so uh, yeah, please, please. I mean, for real, like you need, you just need friends. You need friends that make games. You need to put them on your team. Y'all need to get this together. Y'all need to grab some pokeballs. Y'all need to grab some pokeballs and go out there and start throwing them and start catching somebody out here or so. Look, um, I feel like blue hole seems natural. It's very feasible, and I, I, I that needs to happen. And I don't see why that couldn't happen. It depends. It, it depends, though, man, because I know Microsoft as a company got all that bag of money, but the actual gaming, I don't know if they got that um, that much money in the bank to buy EA, all their IPs. And all, I don't know. But look, they made an amazing piece of hardware. It, it would be crazy not to at least grab, not to grab them right now. Damn. Now, Pug, them buying Pug G, I can see that. I already, I, I, I knew that. I'm like, yo, they're gonna buy that. But EA and Valve, I don't know. Yeah, EA, nah, Valve will be a good look. I don't think it's all that, all that feasible. I don't think it's gonna happen. But I would hope for it. EA, I can, you may as well just leave them where It'll be a bomb if they did do it. I say that much. I see somebody, wow. somebody in the comments section of that of uh, uh, EA is valued at 28.4 billion. Not happy to Microsoft ID pocket, but I don't see them dropping that money on a game in portion now. Thank they didn't. I, I want to say EA is actually valued like it's like 35, right? Here's the thing we all know Microsoft is what they got the most money we can think of like 200 something billion, right? And then with, these, I'm, I'm, with I'm these, saying, new tax cuts, with these new tax cuts, they can bring over another ninety billion. But I'm over I'm, from I'm fame, right but, so they I'm, have the money to do fame, it. Fame, fame, fame. But you, you did you hear me though? I was saying the gaming division. How much did the gaming division have? Not just Microsoft. But here, but here's the thing. Where do you think the money going to come from? It's going to come from Microsoft. You know, you, you know, Phil Spencer no, sits I'm at just, the table. I'm just asking. Damn. I'm just, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just saying. Dang. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying. Yeah. You say, I'm saying, you say, I'm okay, saying because you know all the money is separated. Just because Microsoft in general got $200 billion don't mean they finna give the gaming division a hundred of it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Here's the well, thing. I, I mean, can see... The, I, I don't like I said, I don't see it happening, but it's not out of the realm because of the fact that we all know 
Phil now sits at the board of Microsoft now. He got that type of pool. Microsoft sees the the benefit of the Xbox division, the gamer division. If they got to drop $40 billion, I think they, they can pull that from overseas and drop that. I'm still there. Yeah, I'm still up front there. For right. We'll see, I though. See it, I, don't see it, I don't see it happening, but it's possible. Okay, so what you say? I, I would see more possible from Valve than EA. But. Yeah, oh, yeah. I kind of I kind of see it. You go ahead. I'm no, I'm just saying you're saying that you don't you don't think that the gaming care. division itself would be able to purchase oh, EA because yeah. they don't have the money. No, I'm not saying they don't have it. I'm saying when, when every I know a lot of people talk about well, Microsoft can buy this company, buy that company, buy this company. And I'm like the, the gaming div- I don't even know if they put that much money into the gaming division like they do their other divisions. If I'm not mistaken, I remember somebody was telling me that uh, the gaming division I think is the, the one that makes the less money, the, the less money out of everything that they do. I don't know if they would throw that kind of change out there for eat. I don't know. I mean, it would be it would be dope, but I think Valve would make more sense than the EA would. Well, here's the thing. I mean, I think Microsoft, they did just release some numbers today. And some of the good news was the gaming revenue, we know was up like 8%, I believe, and was driven like, what, 14% up. Um, well, the, the gaming revenue grew by 8, 8%. And um, I think the hardware revenue grew by 14% because of the 1X. And we know the software, all that great stuff, that, that was 4%. So I, I hear what you're saying, and I do agree with that. But I don't, I don't think that... Uh, Satya's commitment to gaming needs to, you know, like we can't believe what he's saying. I wouldn't, I don't think it's impossible for them to write a check if they feel it's necessary to purchase whatever um, IP or, you know, what, whatever they need to do to get Microsoft moving because they have, they have committed to gaming. Putting Phil at the table as a VP tells me Microsoft is serious. Whether or not they're able to write a check, though, yeah, I, I think they they can afford $35 billion if they wanted to. I mean, what? They hit $500 billion in value, but for the first time in, what, like 20 years, I believe? They hit that yesterday, which Microsoft had hit in like 20 years. And I know the value is different than what you actually have cash on hand, but I'm just saying, I think that they definitely have the money to write the check if they wanted to. Hey, y'all, Somebody just came in. Yeah, we do have a guest with us. Fatal Mephesto. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yo, it's, it's the artist formerly known as, as Bear Hugger, right? Yeah, Bear Hugger. Oh, man, look yeah. at that. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. For yeah. those who do not know, go ahead and introduce yourself, brother. Let, let people know where they can find you, my guy. Okay, so um, I was formerly used to be known as Bear Hugger 29 here on YouTube until I decided to quit YouTube in general and moved over to Twitch. And I'm now known as Fatal Mephisto 29 over on Twitch. Uh, but I'm glad to be here. Thank you. It's finally, finally happened. Yes. I finally yes. on the show for a change. Yeah, so we've been trying to be here. We're trying to work out here. Trying to recognize since you were Bear Hugger, but thank you for coming on, my brother. But anytime. Now, anytime. I want to get your thoughts on this whole Microsoft trying to. Uh, Possibly trying to go out and spend money on EA Valve for Bluehole. And I'm gonna ask you, which one do you think is more plausible, or do you think it's none of it is even is plausible at this point? I think this rumor is a bunch of BS, in my opinion. Uh, but if it actually is true, which company do I think they would buy out? Definitely uh, the PUBG company, Bluehole. Mm -hmm. I think they'll definitely buy them out. I think they're more the cheaper of the bunch. Valve, I don't see it happening because I know Gabe Newell is not a fan of micro, really anything Microsoft related. Uh, he's mentioned that before in the past. EA, on the other hand, that's a tough one. Uh, how much was the actual? How much is EA worth? It's like thirty billion. Eh, that's doable for Microsoft. I mean, if they bought it, how much was? Uh, how much did they buy out the Mojang company that made Minecraft? Uh, I, like I think six like, billion. Yeah, it was something low. It was definitely a single digit number. Yeah, it was like six billion, I think. I mean, but you're gonna have to come off them bills, especially because of all them IPs EA got. They ain't just gonna sell for that price. They probably gonna sell for <laughs> a little higher. <laughs> no, I yeah. definitely. I, I think if if they were to buy out EA. The first thing, let's say metaphorically speaking, why that it does happen? They buy out EA and everybody was all up in arms about it. I mean, games are still good to go to Sony's console. Games are still going to go to the Switch. People buy them over there and PC or whatever. It's just going to be just under now the publication of Microsoft. That's all, which is not a big deal. 
Uh, however, though, I, uh, what Microsoft does need to do, though, if they do buy out EA, the first person that needs to go is that Andrew House. He needs to get out of there. He is the problem as to why modern EA sucks so bad. He's the issue. Now, you, you, you're, you're at the point in the head about games still going to Sony. It was and, $2.5 and, and, billion. I think if they was to get EA, hypothetically speaking, I think the sports games will stay multi-plat yes. easily, right? Stay multi-plat, and Microsoft would make bank off of any Madden sold on, on PS4 or Switch. They'll make bank on that, right? But I think yeah. games like Anthem, I don't think Microsoft would let that out. I think because it's not, because the game isn't released, it's, it's still in development. I think a game like Anthem, if Microsoft would take over EA while Anthem is in production, I think that game would be exclusive to, to Xbox and PC. To, to, to uh, by the way, correction, y'all. It was two point five billion for Minecraft. For Mojang, and they made they they made that back by now. Easy. I think it was six oh, billion yeah, yeah. for Skype. Is what I'm thinking of. They, they I think probably they made, made six for Skype. They, they probably they, made they, that back last year as well? with that uh, Minecraft bundle. They probably made that back easy. You know, another thing is to take note too as well. This rumor could also be something that was misunderstood by the source. Yeah, mm -hmm. like maybe he probably overheard something or a conversation with something that works at Microsoft talking about how something in related to EA or whatever you want to call it. And for all we know, it could very well be that Microsoft is trying to make it like an exclusive deal for a specific game. Who knows? Maybe even Anthem could be that game. Who knows? I mean, honestly, we haven't really heard anything on Anthem outside from all the information from E3 or in videos snapped in with Star Wars Battlefront 2. People are being concerned, but uh, actually, no, nah, they just uh, they delay Anthem. Well, they did. Oh, OK. I was not aware of that. Yeah, well, they well, Microsoft should go try to go get Visceral. I mean, EA did drop a bunch of studios. Visceral would be nice. Uh, an exclusive that would, that Dead Space dope. game. Ooh, that would be huge. That you would know, piss whatever off a case lot of may people. be. <laughs> I think at the end of the day, this rumor, even if none of the, the three companies we heard of doesn't happen, I think at the end of the day, this shows that Microsoft is about to buy somebody. They yes. got the checkbook out. And there, somebody's yes. getting bought. It might not be one of these three, doesn't have but to somebody's be him, getting but it needs to be somebody. It's going to be somebody. Somebody's getting bought. Microsoft might about the money with somebody. You, you know what would be really crazy, though, Fame? Is if actually Microsoft went to Activision and exclusively bought the rights to Call of Duty. Right. <laughs> oh, that would set you the world what? on fire. Yeah, yeah that would that, that would, would definitely set start the world on fire. fire. <laughs> People would be pissed. pissed. They'd, they'd be pissed. They'd be pissed. But something's going to happen. I hope. I mean, it would be pretty dope if Anthem was. Oh, awesome. like, hey, I'm gonna hear about that that that'd be a a right, console turning so type move. That with that game, that game it would it would give me a reason to be huge. Yeah, yeah, Anthem is definitely going to be a big game for Bioware, which is a real shame because that's where all the talent from Bioware went to. And the less talented was working on Andromeda, which is kind of a real shame that that next gen Mass Effect game was a massive failure. So I'm kind of still bummed out about that. I'm really am bummed out about that. But hey, what can you do, right? Mm, now, it's a dream, right? Switch and gear this yeah. for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about this recent. Um, news that the ps4 has been finally been jailbroken now if you have already updated your ps4 you have to go and go back to firmware 4.2 i believe because that's the firmware that was jailbroken and from what we've heard this jailbreak has kind of proven that backwards compatibility on a ps4 is possible now I want to get y'all thoughts on this i want to start with two dollars because you are the biggest ps4 head in the and probably well you and crump Probably the biggest PS4 or Sony heads in the in the in the show right now. I'm gonna get your thoughts on this. Is Sony intentionally holding back backwards compatibility from y'all? Yep. You wanna know why? Oh, uh, we we got two Dallas's for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on, but we in a showed up. Dallas, you there? Um, all right, Crump. Let me get your thoughts on it, Crump. It's because they made me put all that money into that uh, PlayStation now. That's why. They put a whole bunch of money into that, and they're not letting that go. You don't feel you don't feel no type of way them or them. Or I don't. And what it looks like, what it looks like that they're holding it back from y'all. I don't care about backwards compatibility they, they like that. They were. I care about backwards compatibility, and I feel like that's a big middle finger on my nose, though. I, I'm not even. I mean, I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, I rather I rather a remaster than a back 
that's just a possibility. I'd rather, I'd rather have what we got the other day, Shadow of the Colossus remake. A remake? Yes. A remaster? Uh, you're not getting much different than you would get from a backwards compatible game. <laughs> I just think the fact that you can just you don't have to, if you own the game I don't know maybe it's just me but if I already own a game and I love this game I would love to just pop it in my sister not go pay $60 for the same game it's just I'm sorry yeah it might look better but it's the same story and we people always talk about how they love the story 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 driven games story driven games but you're going and shelling out 60 bucks for the exact same story that you can play whether it look ashy or not so pick mm -hmm. an argument Y'all play Ninja God in Black on uh, Xbox One X or even the Xbox One. Y'all see how good that look? The game look good as I don't know what. I, it looks I, good for old ass game. I, it, it looks <laughs> very good for old game. Really yeah. good. So remaster, uh, remake. I, I like being able to play games that I've purchased before and don't have to rebuy them. I, I will that's never our, not. I got like that. I that's got our game of pass too, right? Uh, yes. Oh, no, Ninja Guide in. Wait, I'm about to double check. But Fatal, what do you think, man? Because you mostly game on PlayStation as well. What, what do you think about this this jailbreak and it, and it, you know, pretty much being shown that Sony is holding, possibly holding back back from <laughs> I was, I've been telling people for the longest time, even before this news broke out about the, the PS4 being jailbroke, is the fact that I tell people, man, I'm like, look, the reason why they don't want backwards compatibility on that system outside from them just randomly releasing ps2 games and taking forever to actually update that ps2 list of library of games because the fact which is exactly uh what the other person said here i'm sorry but i can't remember your name i apologize Cronk. Cronk, yeah uh when you said about the whole i forget what the company's called geiki geico i don't know what the heck they're called oh, Some uh, uh, it's really something it. with a g uh, yeah yeah <laughs> um yeah I can't, Sony's, I can't remember the name of it either yeah, Sony spent a lot of money on that company because they were they were the ones that were behind like online oh, and whatever you want to call it. Gaikai. Gaikai, that's what they're called. Oh, okay. Gaikai. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, and Sony spent a lot of money on that company, so they're not gonna let that money go to waste. So that's why they're kind of enforcing people to mm -hmm. you know what I mean. I mean, no, me personally, I don't mind PS now because my internet's been upgraded recently and I can handle the connection flawlessly, no problem. That's not an issue for me. Um, but it's still pisses me off in the sense that i would rather be able to stick in like an old school or like a last gen ps3 game and be able to pop it in and play it. and look for the record i know for a myriad fact that sony could easily come out and create their own ps3 emulation on this system if they wanted to i mean people on pc have already technically done it it doesn't work that very well but it's still you know the fact that they can still technically do it and this is sony we're talking about they can easily do it if they want to they can do it with ps2 why not with ps3 right oh the cell processor the cell pro no they can find a way to do it they can find a way to emulate it they can find a way to make it work but they won't because they want people to spend money on that that streaming service yeah i ain't spending no money on that this I is just... where <laughs> this is why microsoft getting their teeth kicked in in console sales helps the consumer because Microsoft is doing stuff like backwards compatibility because they're trying to be as consumer friendly as possible. Yes. Just like, you know what? Yes. Spend more money because we're in the league. Y'all love us. Spend more money. Yeah. Sony's doing more of a, like they, well, last gen, they did more uh, HD collections and stuff like that. This time around, they remaking games. So they remaking Crash or they remaking Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, what else they remade? But that's. I mean, I'm, I mean, That's I'm just pretty much basically it. No, no, no. It's uh, they remade Ratchet and Clank. Um, those isn't are isn't that a I, reboot? I, isn't that technically but, a reboot though? Yeah, it was a reboot. Uh, I yeah, not really. It was the same, the same game. game. It was the same game. It was just they it, they just redid the engine. Just just like Shadow of the Colossus is the is it's the same like game, but they remade like basically built the game from the ground up. Oh, no. That Russian and Clank did look really damn good, though. Yeah, we were. <laughs> that, that game and Clank still looked amazing. Was, like, wow. Like Shadow yeah, of the Colossus. That, that like, I, played Shadow, I played Shadow of the Colossus at PSX. That, yo, if you tell me that that game was like a PS2 game, you smoke it. And your eyes be checked. Like, that game, <laughs> that game is like everything I remember when I was, when that game came out. When I was like 15, 16, something like that when I played it. And Long time it, ago. Long it it time feels ago. the same, but. It doesn't feel the same. It, it like I don't know. I just I I don't I don't mind backwards compatibility. It's always good to have it. But am I like clamoring for it? Not really. It's only a few games I would want to play anyway. 
Hey Crunk, but, hey Crunk, is that Phil Spencer asleep over your left, over your right shoulder? Oh my God! Phil Spencer back there asleep? Cause they look like it. No, 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 don't look, Crunk. Don't make, don't let them make you look, no, girl. You know that. look like Phil Spencer back there asleep. No, no. It's, it's the guy. I guess he waiting on somebody to get out of class. Tell him to wake his ass up, get us some games. He's back to sleep. I knew it. <laughs> I think this year is going to be that year where Microsoft is actually going to release a lot of stuff, man. I yeah, mean, we're, we're and it's funny that. because, uh, well, well, yeah, but I mean, E3 will definitely be that time where I do honestly think that Microsoft is really going to start to announce like a lot more exclusive games. I mean, don't get me wrong. Outside from the three that everybody thinks that's only coming out for Xbox, I mean, there's actually, I counted, there's 12 of them right now that I'm aware of. Yeah, a lot of them are timed and a lot of them are indies. Uh, but still, exclusive does not automatically define AAA. It, exclusive is an exclusive no matter which way you look at it. Yep. So I came across and there's like 12 games that are still coming out. At least, well, scheduled to be released this year, mind you. I want to get that. I want to make that clear because a lot of people are like, what? I don't know the release date for uh, certain games. But it's like, what, but anyways, I think, no, I think honestly, though, I think this is going to be the time where Microsoft's finally going to get their head of their butt and finally be like hey you know what yeah okay now we're listening we announced this now it says a bunch of exclusive deals finally are set to come back on the table now which is what they should have been doing because that's what kept them alive yeah last generation if you want to get that nitty-gritty of things so that's what they need to do i mean is it too late yes but it, it's, it's something <laughs> i think i think this is time for microsoft to lay the groundwork for what for whatever they're trying to do next generation with, with this whole thing with game yeah. pass and putting their, their first party games there and then a lot i, I got to do not thing. like that though i, I know some I got, xbox guys i like that i'm gonna say right now a lot of the <laughs> is coming from dudes on, a lot of the, the griefs coming for dudes on for the xbox they said oh xbox games are only worth ten dollars ha 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 a lot of that grief is coming for dudes who don't who don't have a console. The people who got the console see the value in it. I'm I'm just being real. No, nah, no, nah, I'm talking about like Xbox dudes that I follow and watch on YouTube. They don't like that Game Pass shit. They they feel like they not buying. They was like, yo, I'm not buying no sixty dollar game. I'm just gonna buy this ten dollars, play this game, see, and then and then the, scratch it off. Well, the way Microsoft sees it. They don't care which way you do it. If you buy the game, yeah, they yeah, win. Yeah. If you call game care. pass, they win. And the way I see it, yeah, people, I'm just saying that's how guys are saying it. it. Was like, yo, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get this game pass for this one month, play this game, and then when it ends, I'm canceling that shit. And now here's the, thing, here's the thing. Here's the thing with that, Crump. That's people, what they saying they're gonna do. Who, here's, the thing, here's the thing. People who are gonna do that probably weren't gonna buy the game in the first place. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, they Microsoft they is hedging the bet that you're gonna get game pass and you're gonna enforce the Horizon Keep Four. It. Forza Horizon 4 going to drop, and you're not going to play that game for a month and then drop it. You're not going to play it for a week and drop it. You're going to keep it. It's going to be in the back of your head, back of your mind. It's like Netflix. We don't think about that that's $8 every month. You're not going to think about Game Pass. You're not going <laughs> to drop it when a game like Forza Horizon 4 drops. If you're really into CFC, you're going to play the K2, you're not going to drop it after a month. People are lying, G. They lying. Exactly. You know, so, exactly. Like, and that's, uh, not, that's not who, they, who they're after anyway. They're after that guy that's in the line buying an Xbox. Oh, I'm I know. Spending four hundred and then six dollars for one game, a Madden, and that's all they play until the next Madden come out. Get you locked in at that ten dollars a month because you will say, "Oh wow, look at all these other games I get to play for just ten dollars a month." Oh hell yeah, that's who they're going after. They're not going after that. I'm trying to think who, who yeah. was saying it because I know I was watching Zaire them talking about it and uh, crap had a, a nervous breakdown. <laughs> and a nervous uh, I can't listen to that guy. I'm sorry. I, uh, can't listen to that. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you have to even realize though I may not, even though I may not agree with them, I, I may not agree with everything, but I gotta listen and know what everybody thinks. That's just me. I, See, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be like, oh, I don't want to hear what you got to say, even though I might not agree with it. See, for me, the only reason why I'm using it as a temporary situation is because of the price hike in Canada. It's uh, like you know what yeah. I mean. Like so, for me to outright buy, outright buy, uh, see if these, which I'm definitely eventually going to buy. I'll get in that in a second, though. And I said this before on several other podcasts, but I'll say it here, Reader's Digest version, real quick, is the fact that over here in Canada, games that are usually sixty bucks for people in the states <coughs> is seventy nine ninety nine. So when you include the tax over here, which our tax is freaking huge, I'm paying exactly ninety dollars and some odd cents for one sixty dollar investment that you guys would pay, right? Mm -hmm. So. Me being a multi-console owner, and I buy the majority of my third-party games on the PS4 because I don't have to worry about I buy, I'm digital. I'm full-on digital. Always will be digital, no matter which console I get, period. Uh, but Sony doesn't charge me tax. So when it comes to a lot of these exclusive games like Sea of Thieves, I'm thrilled that it's on a Game Pass because I can only pay 10 bucks a month for that, which I just renewed actually as of today, in fact. Um, so I'm able to play it. But 
when that game goes down in price, down to like 40 bucks, then I'm going to cop it off the Game Pass because I'll save myself 20% off of it, but yep. I'm still supporting the developers. Yep. That's how I'm going to yeah. do it. I'm going to do it for all games. I understand. I understand that. And while you talk about uh, taxes, shoot, we might be getting hit with some damn taxes too. Yeah, uh, it's, it's bad. Trump, it's Trump bad. keep putting tariffs on China. <laughs> yep. yep. And, and, that, and that's the beauty of, of a Game Pass. <laughs> Let's say you are looking forward to Sea of Thieves and say the K2. That's that's $120 you can pay the, for the year and have both of those games. If you were to pay 64 and plus, you'll have Forza Horizon 4. Yep. Plus, you'll have whatever third-party games you put on there. It's an incredible value. So I don't see on either side of the of the fanboy war. I don't see. I don't see that anything. To complain about. I get the concerns though. That's the thing. I get the concerns of like people worrying about retailers pulling out because I think there's a I think there's, somebody uh, already two did. of them. It, it, yeah, two. It, it, two. It, two it, 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 very small two mom mom store that no one knew about. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, they okay. said, hey, I tell people all the time. I'm it's like when you saw, saw, when you see. Nobody. Yeah, I know. I see. Like, I see like, that. That's they when, was that's like they're gonna worrying. stop selling them because uh, something uh, stopped selling their systems or something like that. Not that was, GameStop stocks went like plummeted. It was time to worry and win, fatal. Uh, no, I was saying like, like, like I'm gonna start like I'll start to worry about that issue is when like bigger retailers like GameStop pulls out. Yeah, well, if like if GameStop, GameStop pulls shit, out, yeah. GameStop might yeah. they damn um they well, if they do, but in. I don't see it pulling out though of like Best Buy and Walmart or nah, Target nah. in the states. I don't see but that happening. But as far as like nah. GameStop though, yeah, definitely. Can y'all help me understand why all of a sudden now, you know, uh, they're talking about pulling out? I mean, Game Pass has been around for yeah. what a year now. And yeah. I thought the Xbox didn't have any games in the first party. So why all of a sudden now that they're announcing that they're going to include that first party? <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. We're going to have to stop selling. Come on, we, are we serious? Oh, are, no, we freaking, man. are we freaking serious? Somebody that's 100%. Right there. Hey, that's hundred percent. Fame, fame. Who was the store though? I, I remember the, hearing. The, about the, because the it was, was, was game game store. Store. It was a mom and pop store. No one cared about. Um, yeah, it, it, the store, okay. the store, the first store that pulled out was called Gamewares in, in I believe it was Australia, I believe it was. But here's another thing too, as well, that you gotta take in consideration too, right? It's like when you look, okay, yeah, that store pulled out, but you have to look at it from the aspect too as well. It's like how many of actual exclusive games from that store alone sold for Microsoft? You know what I mean? Like they could have easily maybe, probably. You know what I mean? It, we, well, obviously we won't know because that that you know company will never actually post the numbers of how many units of said game will sell from Xbox exclusive wise, but. It still it still is a problem, nonetheless. I will agree, but like I said, it's until bigger thing. stores like GameStop happens, then I wouldn't really start to worry about it too too much. But I mean, look, here's another thing I also brought up too as well. This is different, yes, but I'm also going to bring it up here anyways too as well. When Netflix, you know, boomed into the actual digital phenomenon spree, which we're into now, whatever you want to call it, it didn't kill off freaking Blu-rays and Blu-ray dr drives and whatever the case may be. Now, yes, I am aware that Blu-rays are cheaper. It's an entirely different market. I understand that, but still, here's the thing. My point is this, is that regardless of this being a rental service, which it actually it is, that's all it is. You don't physically, you don't actually own these games digitally. I mean, in fact, actually, if you buy them digitally, anyways, you don't actually own the rights to the games, period. But yeah. nonetheless, though, nonetheless, though, like your hard-earned money is not going into this digital game at all, period. You're renting this game out of a service that you paid monthly for or six months or however much you want to pay for. But at the same time, you got to look at a lot of things, too, as well. Like, like DLC is the big thing that a lot of people love, too, right? So if a game comes out and let's say, I don't know, like Metal Gear Solid 5, right? That recently, that, that's leaving. It, it, it's actually left today. Uh, that was a game that, that came out, I think, what a, like, I uh, uh, forget how long ago it was. It was on Game Pass. But that was a game that, like, if you did buy into the DLC for that, I don't know if it does or not, but I'm using that as an example. You buy a game or you rented a game that's on Game Pass <laughs> for whatever you want to call it. Let's say Metal, Metal Gear Solid 5, right? There's mm -hmm. DLC in there. So is a, is a gamer going to sit there and invest money into that DLC, but at the same time knowing that he doesn't actually own the rights to that game and that game has a chance of actually leaving Game Pass? But the thing, the thing fatal is if you have the game installed and it leaves Game Pass, you can still play that game. According to, Aaron, you, according, according to Aaron Greenberg, he said that, no, you cannot. You know, I, I, don't know, I don't know when that happened because from the beginning, they said if, it's installed, if you uninstall it, you can't install it back. But if it's installed on your hard drive, it's not going to disappear. They said that from the uh, beginning. I don't know. I, people, I'm, people, I'm people were telling me different tweet. stories of that. <laughs> people were telling me different stories. I'm not saying that. because in, from the beginning they always say, "Yeah, games will come and go, but if you have it installed, they're not going to take it off. It's not going to just all of a sudden be unplayable from your drive. It's going to be it's going to be play, uh, playable until you take it off, until you uninstall it." 
Yeah, I don't know because somebody linked me to a tweet that Aaron that Aaron Greenberg said recently since this debacle happened with the whole entire first party games going being uh, day and date on Game Pass. He somebody asked him. He said, "If the game goes out of rotation, uh, can I still play that game or can I redownload that game?" And he said, "No, you will not be able to redownload that game after at yeah. least rotation." Yeah, you can't redownload it, but if you already have it downloaded, that's a different. Oh yeah, story. if you already have it downloaded, yeah. But at the same time, I mean, if you're going if you're going to be downloading a lot of these games on Game Pass, you better have enough space for that crap. That's all I'm going to say. But nonetheless, but nonetheless, it still is an issue regardless anyways. You know what I mean? Like whether or not you still have that game in your hard drive or not, or you delete it and you want to play, but you realize that game is no longer on Game Pass and you don't have access to that. You wasted that money on that DLC and that DLC is just sitting there. So either you have to do two, two, either do two things. Buy that game outright digitally or buy it used in the bargain bin at GameStop or your local retailer and carry it on, carry on your merry way. Either way, that game is still going to be bought regardless if you do buy DLC. If you don't, then okay. whatever. The, the chat is saying the game isn't playable after taking off. So I don't I, like I said, I don't ever want to give false information. So I'm gonna do more research myself. Yeah. Uh, but, I, but you know that could be the yeah. case. Uh, I'll definitely look into that. But the chat is saying that um, yeah. the same you know thing what? you're saying. It was like, something else somebody was telling me. Uh, Cause y'all like y'all like if y'all don't know, I be at school all the time now, so I don't really be be knowing what the hell be going on like that. Uh, but I think I seen somebody talking about it on Twitter. Uh, Ah, uh, what was they talking about with the game pass? They were saying like this is this is another uh another push towards uh all digital, no physical or whatever. Trying that's to, the future. They, Everyone kind of knows that. Every, yeah, they're trying to push it. They're still pushing, 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 and like no consoles. Like it's just gonna be cloud based. This was Microsoft's vision from the beginning. All digital. Yeah, yeah. cloud based, yeah. like no physical. I don't know, man. I, I kept hearing people talking about that when they talk, they talked about the day and day the game pass. I, I want to get y'all start, thoughts in the chat. You know, are you guys subscribed to game pass? If not, we subscribe to game pass. And do you think game pass will hurt Xbox? I do want to switch gears here just a bit. I don't think uh, do. Fatal, I do want to ask you because you, uh, I'm going to ask you first on this next question because you are, you switched over to mainly streaming now. Yes, We're sir. hearing that Facebook. It's throwing their hat. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. Lunch. I hope they, yes. I hope they scare. I hope they scare the hell out of you too. Fatal, would you switch or stream on Facebook for all the old people to watch you stream, sir? Oh. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Definitely not. No. Uh, but but what I will say is towards because I was actually looking at this. I believe it was just just last night. In fact, actually, um, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, there has been people that have been. Uh, streaming prior to this announcement on YouTube or not YouTube, uh, Facebook, sorry, it's like through a phone app, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. but me personally, I wouldn't use it, uh, because I mean, all my people that I have on my Facebook and anyways are family related people, so that would be kind of dumb in a way. <laughs> me cursing on my live streams, yeah, I don't think no, but I mean, it's pretty cool. People that want to use it on Facebook that have like a big, big following on Facebook or have like a certain fan base for like those fan pages you can make for yourself on Facebook. I think mean, it's definitely, <laughs> definitely there for an option, man, but. Um, which is nice because I mean, YouTube has gone to you know down the gutter, so <laughs> I don't want to say the word, but <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not gonna swear. I'm not gonna swear. <laughs> my, my, you plan on streaming on Facebook? <clears throat> Y'all have that was got me with this one because I was totally out of the loop with this, so I have to ask a couple of questions as I'm sure maybe some of the people listening to this. So, Facebook has announced that they're gonna they're getting into game streaming now. Is that yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, man. They, they, they see that they see that opening. <laughs> I, 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 actually, I say bring it on. Actually, I'm glad. I'm really glad that they are. Because, yes, YouTube definitely needs a competitor when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. They definitely yes, do. And, um, do. Yep. I mean, I, I primarily use Facebook. I have a family, friends. It's, you know, old school. People you went to school with, keep in contact with. But, I mean, I also have a fan page for my classy game of gals. And I'll dog on, we'll get on there and, and, and do some game streaming. And I just think that as another option is great. And maybe that'll shake up YouTube to stop uh, some of these crazy moves that they're making towards content creators. Because I just think they're making it hard. They're making it really hard right now. And we we need other options. People are leaving in droves, man. They they running a Twitch and Mixer and they they running in droves, man. Yeah. Hey, hey Dallas, I, I know you're not on Facebook. Would you come back to Facebook so you can stream them games to, yeah. uh, to to your your family and friends, sir? Absolutely <laughs> not. I don't even post happy birthday on Facebook these days, man. I can't. <laughs> 
I should hope, I mean, it's a good thing for people that do use Facebook frequently. There are a lot of people out there that use Facebook as much as people use Twitter, as, as much as maybe I use Instagram. But um, for me, it's, it personally, it makes no difference either way. Okay. If it's an option to make that money, I can see people, you know, you say, I don't, I'm not saying you doubts what you're saying, but you know, we can easily say, well, I'm not on Facebook. I don't do this. I don't do this. But if there's an opportunity to really put yourself out there on Facebook and possibly make an income and people that are really trying to make a living off of this, or even those of us like myself that just want to have fun and you want to engage with an audience and we can't deny there are uh, there's a multitude of millions and millions upon millions of people on Facebook. So, uh, I mean, I say, why not? Why not it's go for it? It's entirely possible um, that everybody, that a lot of people are migrate back to Facebook or over to Facebook uh, just for the purpose of streaming. Uh, I wouldn't be one of them, but more power to the people that do, and I hope it works out for them. Maybe it'll be a lot of, I uh, hope it's not a lot of soccer moms streaming games from their phones. Yo, if this was happening when the Wii was out, oh my G, yo, if this was happening when the Wii was out, oh man. Uh, yeah, okay. We got lucky. The Wii got very, very lucky. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, if the like if the Wii would have came out when Facebook was man, you would have seen everybody and their mom and grandma on Facebook playing the Wii. I'm oh, yeah. you came oh, back yeah. on that one. Me For too. Sure. For sure. What K Mega say? I'm. He oh, said I'd be all over uh, Facebook. <laughs> he Yo, K Mega is in the chat. Shout out to K Mega, man. Been rocking with this dude for a while, man. Shout out to him, man. You know what though? Yeah, I, Joe I Lewis would, Junior, right there. I would get on Facebook. <laughs> only thing, only reason why I would, because a lot of my my guy friends don't believe I be playing video games, and they and then when they get dubbed on on in Madden or 2K, then they be like, oh damn, I didn't know you could play. So. And I always like when I post my streams, they always go on Facebook. But of course, they don't. They don't know what Twitch and all the other stuff is. You know, they don't know what none of that is. So, but yeah, I, I wouldn't mind it. It would be kind of dope. Hey, really kinda fast, was, Fatal. What was it just announced by Nintendo? Uh, Mario Kart Tour. Apparently, it's some application or something. I just saw it on Facebook. On uh, not Facebook, uh, Twitter. And like, didn't like, they like didn't Mario they just, Kart on your cell phone? Uh, Wait, I don't what? know if it's an actual. What is it, Mario? It's like, it's like, oh, it's like Mario. It's a mobile. Okay. It's yeah, like I posted, Mario I posted the tweet. Posted the tweets yeah, in, the, in the actual Google Hangout chat. If you guys want to have a look, but it just basically okay. says that a new mobile application is now in development. Mario Kart Tour releasing in the financial year ending in March of 2019. Oh, they not. No stupid. idea what they it know. Is. They know what they're doing. What? They they're doing the same thing they did with Mario Run. They not crazy. Down that down could be the it. Comments. That could be it. What is this guy doing? What That's happened? Even more money than. Uh, Look at the Nintendo comments stories. to this Twitter where he just posted. Just scroll down. Yeah, you saw that, right? Yeah, his head down his pants. Yeah, he got his hands <laughs> in his pants. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that. Wow. Right. Right back up. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's Wait, see nope, how he nope, feel nope. about it. Now, mm. um, while we're still on the topic of streaming, uh, I saw a couple of tweets of people saying, uh, tweets and different comments of people saying that, people saying, uh, tweets and different comments of people saying that Sea of Thieves does not um it's not popular to the mass market no one cares about sea of thieves it's sea of fail the game is going to fly uh, well sea of thieves at one point was the number one watched game on both twitch and, and mixer. mixer and yes, even after the first day toward the end it was still top three on both twitch and mixer so i'm gonna get yep. you guys started you guys think this has any uh bearings on the popularity it, I, I don't know at one point as well it was sold out on amazon so you guys think that has any any bearing on the game being a success, being how it was so popular uh, on Twitch and Mixer? Anybody? Yeah, first? yeah, right on the head. Oh, okay. Um, well, I, I I played the beta. Uh, what was it back uh, the day after it officially launched? Because there was a bunch of problems with the game. But either way, um, so after experiencing the beta. Uh, I can definitely say right now for sure that this is definitely going to be a very popular streamed game, uh, not just from the results of Twitch and the results from Mixer. Um, I think even when the game officially launches, a lot of people who are sitting there talking mad crap about this game right now, 
they're they're going to be quite pleasantly surprised when they see how what rare has actually done with this game and also kind of the same topic uh, topic in the same way i do find it funny that people are bashing sea of thieves but they can't wait for skull and bones which I, that yeah. just cracks me up <laughs> um, you want to know why but, oh the, the hypocrisy because of the way it looks yeah because the way it looks I mean, yeah which to me is just blows my mind that people would effectively ignore it because the game looks cartoony wise and to me cartoony games look and last longer but they play more fortnite. realistic games they play but... fortnite they play overwatch yeah ex right you exactly. can't even more yeah, cartoon see, those games that. those games hey, are multi-platform i gotta go y'all my ride is outside but thank you crump we're yeah, pretty you, sorry oh, nice, I meeting you, by the way. nice meeting you I yeah, girl. yeah. Hopefully y'all still on when I get to the house. If not, um, y'all follow me on Twitter at Crunk Girl Seven Eleven. I'm out. Be safe, Hi, girl. Uh, but uh, but yeah, but, but go back to uh, to see if these and Mixer and Twitch. Um, I'm telling you, that game is going to be slept on. I, I think I'm really glad to see that Microsoft did decide to release that game day and date on Game Pass because. I'm pretty well, obvious. I, I mean, the way people, I mean, no offense to the Xbox people that do want an Xbox, but a lot of you guys mm -hmm. don't buy your games. <laughs> no offense, this, but this is true. The games don't sell um, very well. This is so. This, I mean, by them, not a adding lot it, here. yeah, by them adding it on Game Pass is definitely going to keep the actual player level or player community popul population going for a lot longer than well, at launch, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, but I can tell you this right now from my experience from the game and I, and I played it solo. I didn't play with the crew, which I, that's the best way to experience it. I can tell you this right now, that game is going to be a hell of a fun game to play online with a lot of yep. people. Like you're going to see some crazy wacky stuff in that game. Do not sleep on this game, regardless if you're not going to play it or not, at least check it out when the game fully launches and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. This is going to be one of those games that like you need communication and you need a dedicated team by your side. If you want to get far in that game, if you, you rock by yourself, you're going to get raped, yeah. excuse my language, but you're going to get annihilated very, very quickly. <laughs> yep. uh, but with a full fledged team, I'm telling you, you're going to, this game, I'm telling you, man, it's going to be a sleeper hit from rare. And this is I, modern for, that we're talking about here. I have <laughs> to say, you know, cause I've been in the alpha um, from day one with Sea of Thieves. Oh, nice. Yeah. And um, I have to say, you know, uh, people will ask me, uh, my opinion on Sea of Thieves and my my initial impression was I'm not I I, I don't get it and that's what I, I I would say I didn't get it I would go in and play around with it a, a few hours and I'm like I don't know. but I I was going in solo at the time mm -hmm. um so the uh yesterday or day before yesterday I just decided you know well let me just go back in because I hadn't played in a while in a long time I mean, it's been months 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 since I played it went in solo. Okay, so I'm on my ship and I'm cruising along and I'm sailing along and um, I, I see this particular aisle and I go in and pull up, but I crash my ship. Okay, yep. me twice. <laughs> I crash my ship. Okay, so my ship, my, my, my ship begins, I see the water coming in. So I'm trying to patch up my ship uh, to keep my, my ship from um, sinking and I don't, I don't do it in enough time. My ship sinks, I jump off. So I'm trying to swim to shore and I get attacked by a shark. Okay, so then I try to run and I'm swimming, I run, but swimming to shore. And then I get bombarded by some skeletons and realize I didn't even have a weapon. I don't know what happened to my knife. I have to tell y'all, it was mad crazy fun for me. I, I was like, wait a minute. This was a game that I thought, I'm not going to buy this game. I have no interest in seeing yep. these. Mm -hmm. And I had that, that hour of the, just fun, fun by myself. Okay. And so I can only imagine playing with some of my girls or some of my friends and we are mm -hmm. partying up and just what you could actually get yourself into. Um, and I understand that there is content, um, you know, that of course yeah, was, we had, we didn't have, yeah, but we yep. weren't able to play, but mm -hmm. that was, that was, that was actually fun. And I think this caters to the, to the type of Xbox gamer. I mean, you made the comment that Xbox gamers don't buy their games, but I, I, you know, and I think online centric games they do though right and that's the difference one. right the yeah. single player you know store those single player kind of games we might can you know although they do buy skyrim and they do they do buy but it seems like yeah. the, the xbox <laughs> exclusive games you know we can talk about sunset overdrive all day long they just tend not to pay attention to but this game i knew that it was going to actually be a sleeper hit from the feedback i would see um, in the yeah. in the pages online in mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. the sea of these closed alpha that that thread would be there would be so many people looking for people to team up the interaction the engagement the questions and every time there was a session open 
everybody was coming in looking into play. So I, I kind of knew that what I was say the whole thing with the water was not overstated. The you water right? is beautiful. <laughs> the Jesus. Water is pretty. Right. That is the view. 7.5, too much water. The, the um, sunset was amazing. Beautiful, beautiful game. Every, well, dude, I mean, after all, there's a there's an island in the game called Booty Island. So right off the bat, that's all. <laughs> I do beautiful. think the day cycle, though, is too short. It is. Yeah, it it's is. Too it's short. way too they short. Right? Yeah. Day cycle. Yeah. Hopefully they change that. Hopefully they change. I, I think they did that just for the beta so they can get people to say, yeah, there is a day and night cycle. Yeah. Um, yeah. But a couple of things I do want to see, though, uh, like, like I do want to see, like, like uh, pirate hideouts because that's a big thing in the pirate lore. So I would love to see something like that. Mm -hmm. and, like you can like there's, there's so many random islands. You know, what I mean that's in that game. So like you can just pop into a random island and just run into like an actual uh, like a hideout that that you know that belongs to a certain like a certain crew or something like that, right? But one thing I will say though, when I was playing it solo, I was just visualizing in the back of my mind. I was playing it. I was like, man, you know what? Having four people, including yourself, on that boat, you got one person that's you know down on the first level of your boat, looking at the compass, looking at the map, directing the actual captain of the ship, which whoever it is, whether that's steering the boat, the direction where they got to go. You got one guy who's basically controlling the cannons. You got another guy that could be climbing up all the way in the top of the ship, looking out with his little, you know, his uh, little teleglass thing, whatever you want to call it there, and like letting people know there's any like ships coming around or whatever the whatever that kind of stuff like that. But at the same time, like. There's so much communication that's going to happen in that game, and that's what's going to really thrive that game along in the long run. You know, the like, very first thing I did on the baby, mm -hmm. I, I, I had a party. We all got our roles assignments, and once we got to sail, we started moving. I broke out my accordion, played some music, put my accordion away, grabbed some beer. I got wasted and threw up. There you all go. The ship. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah, so man. much it's, fun. It's dope. It's freaking dope, man. It's so good. And, and like I said, all those people that are actually like. Who are not getting it? Who are legitimately, legit, wow! Well, I can't even speak. Legitimately, not like just bashing it to hate on it for no apparent reason because it's it's an Xbox game. Um, you know, if you don't if you don't have any interest in like that's the thing. Like, you have to be a person that's into pirate theme games if you really mm -hmm. want to get the most enjoyment out of this. If you don't care for pirates, give it at least a, a, like an actual try for the concept alone. But you're probably not going to dig it all too much. But if you love pirates, man, and you're going to ignore this game just because it's on a platform that you don't care about. And I'm telling you, man, don't sleep on that game. I'm telling you, man. Rare finally got left. You know, like they finally got off their leash. Microsoft finally let go of that leash. Mm -hmm. Finally said, so, you know what? Make something different. And best of all, that game felt so refreshing to play, man. It was so yeah. different. It was so different, man. Yeah. And how can yeah. you hate pirates, man? Being a right? pirate, how can you That's hate saying, dude. Especially a drunk pirate. Man. <laughs> <laughs> the controls are hard when you're drunk, dude. They're hard. Yeah. And that just makes it that much more fun. I got drunk a few times. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't want to put it out there, but I did. <laughs> That's the first thing I did was like, where is it? Why you know what's gonna be a highlight, though, right? You know, yeah. like somebody said, like Tiger King said in the chat, like, you're gonna be driving your boat in the middle of the ocean, and all of a sudden, like, you're just gonna get, like, just grabbed by the Kraken. Because that yeah, is in the game. So dope. It wasn't yes. in the closed beta though, but uh, mm -hmm. but it's definitely it's gonna be in the full release. Uh, I remember Rare talking about that. That's gonna be exciting. Especially it's gonna suck for me though if I'm rocking solo, but hey, whatever. Uh, for real. And the Dude. fact that that shark chased me all the way to shore. I'm like, man, how in the heck? I'm like, this I, I turn around, this thing's still behind me. <laughs> I Yo, like, I saw a video of somebody that it was a ship, and he swam over to the ship and put a bunch of explosives at the bottom of that ship. And then stood yeah. back, and then yeah, yeah you saw it. Oh, yeah. oh, I was yeah, like, I dude, that. Video, dude, I, I was cracking up when I saw I that. Saw that. <laughs> that was and hilarious. This game is going to be dope, man. It's yeah, you, you're going to see a lot of people like they're going to be out on the island, whatever you want to call. They're going to see a little small boat or a boat come, like you know, like a, from a, like a big, a long distance away. They're going to either swim over or take a little tiny boat over there. They're going to plant stuff on people's boats and just troll the crap out of people. It's going to be hilarious, man. I'm telling you. I know sometimes uh, you post to like they, they, you know, people going to be friendly. I'm saying right now, if if you see me in the game, you see my boat and my crew, be ready to fight. But we're, I don't. <laughs> everybody should. Well, if you that. see me, if you see me there, Fame rocking a solo boat, man, I surrender. I can't do that. Kind of is, do. No um, way. No a way. reason for me to buy Xbox, but Fame, you might see me a little more. Hey, man, uh -oh. come on, come on through, dog. Uh oh. You know, I know Dallas like right down the street from me, man. So if even if he don't never own an Xbox, there's one over here he can play. You know, I got like three of them in this house. <laughs> yeah, man. But I appreciate everybody coming out and rocking with us tonight, man. It's been a, it's been a hell of a show. Nick somewhere being Hollywood, and 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 you know that's that's who he is being light bright. 
we actually gonna go ahead and cut it. I know it's a bit shorter than what we normally do, but we don't want to hold you guys too long. I want to thank our guest, Fatal Mafesto, again for yeah, coming thank through. Thank you, thank and you. Rocco, we definitely thank get him on coming. again. Uh, I know you kind of retired from YouTube, but if we get him on this podcast more, it'd be we'd be we be appreciative of that. But once again, Fatal, let people know where they can find you, and also send me the link to your Twitch on Twitter so I can put it in the description. I think he's gonna be right back, Fame. So oh, Fatal be right back. Okay, yeah. we're gonna come back to Fatal. Um, but so you guys know if you go in the description down below, once again, we are giving away a copy, a copy of Sea of Thieves, the limited edition controller from TSC, courtesy of the Double XP podcast and the Multiverse Podcast. That giveaway is gonna go up until uh, I believe three days before the physical game releases. So if the controller comes out in 14 days, I'm going to go pick that up. And then when the physical game comes out, I'm going to pick it up. And I'm, will we be mailing it to a winner? The mailing, the shipping, all on us. It's absolutely free. So make sure you guys enter to win. Um, Mama Sita, you want to you wanna do a little outro, love? Uh, yeah. Um, I just want to say, um, for those that are asking uh, if I'm going to stream Sea of Thieves, and uh, actually, I will be getting Sea of Thieves now because I have um, a game pass, a year game pass that I've been holding on since FanFest that I really didn't think I was um, going to need. But now that uh, these uh, first party games are going to be included, I'm definitely will be using my game pass to play Sea of Thieves. So you can catch me on Mixer. And that's Mama Sita 925. And I look forward to streaming it in a couple of weeks. So I'll update you guys on Twitter and on my YouTube channel uh, because I'm actually moving all my game streaming over to Mixer. And um, so uh, so thanks, everybody. And that's Classic Game of Gales on Twitter. All right. And I'm out. That's the so man, bad. man with a plan. <laughs> Dallas man. <laughs> <laughs> man. It's like salads, crickets. Man, I appreciate everybody coming through to mess with us once again. Um, I won't be on Sea of Thieves, but I'll be mooching off Fame for a little while until I decide to get an Xbox. Uh, <laughs> okay. Anybody that wants to find me on Monster Hunter, man, Dallas Man 214, Dallas with a Z. Um, other than that, man, just it was a fun show. We'll see y'all next time. Dope this now. Just let you guys know we'll be doing back to back episodes. We're a bi weekly show. But we're going back to back so we all can cuddle up and do our love thing on Valentine's Day. We will not have a show on Valentine's Day. Uh, even though we know Nick could be somewhere by himself crying because Mama said ain't around to give him no love. Uh, <laughs> oh, he know he's going to be somewhere getting his butt spanked. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Ma. <sighs> Oh, uh, I don't know what well, time well, it is. Uh, Y'all ain't gonna be able to hear my comment on that one. It's gonna get edited out anyway, so I'm gonna shut <laughs> up. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be someone getting his bus back. I hope it's by a female, mm -hmm. but you know, you know what I You know, speaking of <laughs> CFDs, he said he had jump shit before. <laughs> speaking of CFDs, <laughs> and be Booty a Island. Island. <laughs> 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 right, I'm back. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> must have oh, missed something yeah. that was funny. <laughs> yeah, um, on one episode, Nick and asked Nick, who was on the show, so he asked him said that he would jump ship. You know, we're talking about Sea of Thieves and we're talking about uh Valentine's Day. It was, it was, yeah, you uh, had to be there. Right? You, you had to be there. there. <laughs> you literally want to go back and watch the, the, the podcast and go to the end and see what you missed. <laughs> but uh, we are wrapping up, so fatal one more time. Um, let people know where they can find you and also on Twitter if you can send me the link to your Twitch and everywhere people yes, can sir. find you so I can update the uh the description people can come and uh and follow you, my brother. Okay, so uh I'm on Twitch known as uh Fatal Mephisto29. Uh I'm gonna send you the actual link for it there right now and a private message there for you there, fame. Thank uh you, thanks sir. for having me. It was an honor to finally be on your show for a change. Thank you, thank so you, thank I appreciate you, thank it you, so thank much, you. man. Thank you. We definitely gotta have you back on again, man. You are welcome here anytime. Anytime you want to come that. on, Thank man, you're you. welcome. You're really going to be. We love having people on who actually game, even though this is a debate show and we are going to get heated. There's no fanboy, fanboy, fanboyism here. It's all fun and jokes. We like to have fun. But thank you guys for rocking with us. This has been episode 43 of the Double XP podcast. Uh, Nick, hope you enjoy the spanking that you're going to be receiving on Valentine's Day. And we out, <laughs> y'all. Peace. Peace. <laughs>